Hello everyone, this is Sujata. In this demo, I will be explaining how to create a rule spec using reference table. Rule spec is a new feature that was introduced in Informatica Data Quality 9.6. The agenda for my presentation are how to create a rule spec using a reference table that is done from the analyst tool and how to compile a rule spec into executable maplets. Now, in, uh, if you talk about the rule spec, it is very much similar to the rules or the maplets that we have been creating in the developer tool. Just that to create a maplet in the developer tool, the user needs to have a perfect knowledge about the DQ transformations. But for rule spec, he need not to because it is created using simple functions along with the if then else statement. So let me run through a demo uh, so that uh, we get a clear understanding of how to create a rule spec. For that, uh, let me log into my analyst tool. So this is my analyst tool. Let me open a reference um, a rule specification which I have already created. Uh, so I have a sample, uh, uh, an example of rule specification. Uh, so in this example what I'm doing is I have a list of brands in my source file and out of these brands I'm going to identify which of them are the TV brands. So for that I need not to use um, an input transformation then a parser transformation and so on and then create uh, um, you know a rule. So it's pretty simple here so let me show you the rule spec that I've created. So the name of my uh, rule spec is like rule spec TV brand. So this is my rule spec wherein I have uh, oh, this is this is the panel which so shows the input for the rule spec. So um, I go to the input tab and uh, if your I just have one input named as TV input, but if you want to have more than one, you can use this option to add more inputs to this uh, rule spec. So um, this is for the input. Rule logic is the tab wherein we actually have the rule logic defined. So I have a rule logic already defined uh, to identify the valid uh, TV brands. So let me create one more just to show how, how do I select the reference table and all and complete this. So uh, by default the if then statement uh, comes in and then I select the input from the drop down which is my TV input right now. From the operator I have to choose is within if I'm going to use a reference table to match. The function, it is the for the condition I have to use function and then I browse here to select the reference table. So uh, there are a number of functions like as you see here it lists many functions which can be used in uh, the rule spec. So rather than going there, I'll just select one reference table which I'm going to use for my rule spec. So I have to go and browse to the project then to select my RTM, the reference table. So I have already created a reference table before creating this rule spec. And this reference table holds a name of all the valid TV brands. So it lists, it has listed the reference table that is there in one of my project. So I select this reference table and I click OK. So I have an option of case sensitive match as well. If you uh, want to use case sensitive match for the RTM, we can choose this option. Otherwise, just click OK. And uh, then if there is a match to the value in the RTM, um, I have to assign the output value as valid. So I select the string value equals to valid. Just that and then click save. So this is how I have created my condition. Let me delete this one because I already have a similar condition already created. So uh, then I go and uh, save my rule spec. So once this is saved, I got to compile it as well so that I can use it uh, to test my uh, input. So it takes a while to compile the reference table and then it also prompts uh, where do you want to save the compiled uh, um, rule spec. So I choose this project and then say OK. 
so once uh, the compilation is finished uh, you will see this green tick mark here so this means the rule is rule spec is valid one so once the compilation finishes uh, let us test uh, the logic if it is correct or not so in my input I have pasted in some uh, names of the brands which are valid which are some are invalid as well and uh, then I just click on test rule and wait for the rule logic result so as you see here uh, the output is here now so for LG um, it says it's a valid one because in my reference table I have put in LG as one of the TV brand for LG one there's no output because I have not included uh, uh, LG one in my reference table so it does not identify that as the valid TV brand so this is all about how do we create a rule spec using a reference table uh, the second um, agenda was how to convert the rule spec into executable maplets so I have to use this option and uh, this will convert into maplet so once this completes um, I I choose a location where I want to uh, save this maplet so once this completes I should be able to see this uh, maplet in my uh, MRS folder from the developer tool so after the compilation has finished I have logged into my MRS here and I see the same applet here so if I click here I would see the logic which I have used in my rule spec is now converted um, into transformation uh, into transformation so it is it has actually used a parser and expression to uh, use the reference table and identify the TV brands that is all about how to use a reference table in a rule spec Thank you for listening.